Good afternoon, everyone. This is Amy Goldman with the AT3 Center, and I'm pleased to bring you today's webinar from the Demo Loan Community of Practice. Uh, just to make a note, as always, that you can find upcoming webinars listed on the AT3 Center events page. And our next webinar is April 22nd on the disability cocoon. Uh, I hope that uh, most of you also have next Wednesday marked as a webinar on the state plan. And stay tuned for information about a webinar having to do with the coronavirus and its impact on state AT programs. By now, many of you are familiar with the workings of Zoom. There is a button on the bottom uh, for closed caption. This webinar is recorded and will be posted on the AT3 Center website. Shortly after today's webinar, you will also be receiving a short survey. You all know the importance of evaluating our activities. So in advance, we appreciate your completing that survey monkey for us. But without further ado, I am gonna turn this over to Pat Trank from GrantPad. And as we go, if you have questions, please feel free to type them in the chat box. So take it away, Pat. Thanks, Amy, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you all for attending today. And I'll try to cover as much as possible and be uh, to the point as much as possible as well. So uh, as you can see from the initial screen, our product that we're discussing is GrandPad. And the GrandPad, uh, right off the bat, I'll mention is meant to be simple. It is simple, safe, and secure uh, tablet or device made for seniors. So my intent is to go through it uh, in a presentation or PowerPoint. But initially before that, I wanted to show a video done by our chief gerontologist, Carrie Bernay about why she got involved with the grand pad and coming from academics to where she's now part of our team at, at grand pad. So let me, let me pull this up here for you in just a second. Everybody see that? No. Nope. No. Nope. Go, go to your share screen. There it is. Okay. Thank you, Pat. I'm Carrie Burnight. I'm a gerontologist, so I have a PhD in the study of aging. I spent a big part of my career looking for solutions on how we can address social isolation. And by social isolation, I mean wanting more connection than you currently have. From the research, the impact on social isolation really can't be overestimated. It is associated with a significantly increased risk of cardiovascular disease, 
of stroke, and perhaps most interesting, dementia. There's a 64% increase. And we as humans, we need to eat, we need to sleep, we need to exercise, and we need to connect in meaningful ways. So in looking for solutions, I tried standard devices and none of them were secure. And they were full of frustrations. So I came across after searching the world, GrandPad, and it was a solution that engineered out all the points of frustration. I spent my professional career trying to think about how to address and eradicate loneliness in the older adults that I work with. And the best solution, a solution that I found that works, was the GrandPad. So much so that I left academics where we were studying it to join the solution where we were doing it. Your video ended. Oh, the video is going again. Oh boy. No, the video ended, Pat. Please go back. Okay. okay. <laughs> Very good. There we are. All right. We good now? Okay. Well, go back to there. Well, you are. I, yep. I'm your prime example of uh, working with technology. All right. So, uh, so the Gram Pad was developed in 2013 by a, a student out of Chapman University that was having difficulty communicating with his grandmother in Iowa. He tried Skype, he tried over-the-counter and smartphones, tablets, and it was a challenge for her to connect. So he created the GrandPad in its infancy, and from this point, it's come to where it's at now. So that uh, is the initial start of the GrandPad. So with the gram pad, can everybody see this? You're good. Okay. So the gram pad, as mentioned by Carrie, it mainly deals high level with isolation and loneliness. And what has been proven to have an impact on people's uh, enjo uh, enjoyment of life as well as life ex uh, expectancy. So the thing that we've recognized since the product was developed for seniors is that it actually fits other areas of uh, impairments and challenges as well. So that's something to keep in mind when it is something you're possibly working with in the in, in the uh, uh, out in the industry out in the in the field. So the challenges as I've mentioned before, uh, and I'll mention something uh, as we move on. Probably one of the biggest things that we see is that. The gram pad was created to limit the amount of incoming calls so the senior or whoever has the, the user is not dealing with spam or robocalls coming in and it limits the amount of solicitors so the, the challenges that they would face on that that we all are facing as well. Okay, so it's a radically different approach. As I mentioned, when we started out, the idea is to keep it simple, safe, and secure. Uh, and I'll go through that in more detail. But the overall mission of GrandPad is to connect families, friends, and parents. Uh, yeah. um, Pat? Yes. Uh, your audio is going in and out, so please make sure it's Can you hear me, you hear me now? Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. So that's, that's essentially the grand pad right there. And I'll get into more detail of what it looks like and how it's set up and charging and whatnot as, uh, as I move forward here. Simple, safe, and secure. So I'll go through this pretty high level. And then uh, at the end, my plan is to do a demonstration on the product as well. So the, when I say uh, simple, it's uh, when you look at the tablet, there are no uh, logins or passwords. It's just simple buttons that you choose and click to get into what you want to have access to. And a big part of the grand pad is family involvement. So I can tell you how I got involved with it personally is uh, my parents were in the point of moving from their home to assisted living. And they were having challenges dealing with technology, smartphones. Hey, Pat, your audio is still 
fading in and out. It so okay. it may be a wire on your headset if you're using a headset. Okay. So try to keep still. Okay. Thanks, Amy. Can you hear if me? It's, if it's that. Okay. I don't know. I actually have not had that challenge before. Okay. All right. So with the grand pad, it's set up that it initially is set up with a family administrator. We call them an FA. And for example, quite often it's the, the child of a senior or the, uh, a caregiver for the senior. And what they do is they set up the contacts that have access to the grand pad, quite often add the photos that would come into play and anything else that might be personal to the grand pad. So what it does is it creates a situation where the grand pad goes from being a grand pad just uh, provided to that end user to their grand pad because it's personalized with their information that is important to them. Uh, and with that, the companions or the, the uh, family administrator can add anybody or have control over what's done with the grand pad as far as access and whatnot. Companions are added uh, by typically the family administrator. So what it is is you're creating a circle of uh, friends and caregivers and loved ones for that end user. So they have access, access to them either by photos being sent to them or photos being sent out, or as well as uh, being able to make uh, video calls, uh, phone calls, whatever needs to be done, as, you know, all the way down to emails and text. That's the family circle right here. So I'll get into more detail on that. It's probably easier to, to show uh, than, than to go through this detail. And this will be available to you for access as well. The companion app is an app you download to a smartphone. Uh, it could be an Android or uh, an iPhone. And it's a, an app that you use to access either to, to make comments on photos, send photos, make phone calls to the grand pad. And that's the way that you actually access the grand pad FaceTime call. And what that does is for the grand pad, it gets back to what I mentioned before, that they're only getting calls from people that were set up as contacts. So the benefit of that is, as mentioned, they're not gonna be getting random calls coming from, uh, from solicitors or robocalls that, that they don't know and don't need and are trying to get personal information that's, uh, that's pertinent and, and valuable. Amy, is that okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, there is still a little bit of fading, but it's unpredictable. <laughs> oh boy, okay. All right, uh, I apologize for that. So with the grand pad, there's certain buttons on there to get to navigate through the tablet itself large buttons that all you do is click on. And one of the main ones used, as I mentioned before, is the call button. So you hit the call button, and that's how you can take an inbound calls, dial out. You can actually have the ability to dial out as well. So you can uh, make calls out, but only calls coming in come from the contacts. The email button is where you can actually have access to text messaging. Uh, if there's issues with, um, typing or uh, mobility issues, uh, dexterity issues. You can actually do video calls as uh, uh, video typing as well, or uh, excuse me, voice memos as well. So that's a way to do it. Uh, the photos button, there's a photo gallery, gallery that runs consistently while the grand pad is in stagnant mode. But it's also where photos can come in from family members. And I'll give you a specific example. My uh, uh, nephew just got engaged. So what he did is he sent photos to my father, my mother's past since, uh, getting this for them. And uh, he now has pictures of his grandson with his new fiance. And with that, comments are being able to be made at any time. And that's shared not only with the grandpad user and the person that sent the photos, but all the other people that are in the contact in the circle of friends. Music. So it does have a playlist in the uh, in the grand pad. Uh, 
Uh, and you also have the ability to download music as well. So it is a library with over 28 million songs. So it is available for that. And the playlists can range from country to classic to contemporary to, to decades, different decades music. And it's a way to keep people engaged. Uh, we're seeing it more and more used in, in uh, memory care units with dementia. Uh, so it is something that's coming to play more and more as time goes on here. The weather button is a nice feature that uh, gives a forecast to the user as well as anybody that has provided their location as a contact. So they can see how the, what the weather is uh, for their loved ones in the area that they're at and the five day forecast for that as well. Uh, there is a games button and that's a way to keep uh, engaged with uh, all types of games and I'll go through that later to show you, but really it's the, the main games like uh, blackjack, bingo, solitaire, tic-tac-toe, there's word games. A lot of it's for uh, <coughs> cognitive use and to, to keep people engaged and challenged with uh, playing games and, and uh, to, to, for enjoyment as well. Camera button uh, is a way that uh, you can send videos or uh, send pictures of uh, updates to the, your loved ones through the contacts. Uh, articles is in there as well. So you have the ability to, uh, to see what's happening. Really, we kind of shared, uh, stayed away from providing current event topics because uh, to keep it light and uplifting. All these features that I'm presenting or showing have the ability to be controlled by the FA or an editor to make sure if it's not of need or not wanted, they can be taken out as well. A lookup button's in there for uh, encyclopedia or dictionary lookups, just a quick reference. Toolbox, uh, uh, magnifying glasses in there, a flashlight, uh, a way to, 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 to uh, magnify something if you're not able to read it, a flashlight if you're in a dark room. And the last thing, probably one of the bigger, more important things, is a help button. So the help button connects the user to our support team. And a little word on that, our support team at GrandPad is our, typically our higher level people. It's a promotion within Consumer Cellular to be part of the GrandPad team. So quite often we'll get calls on that, excuse me, for, um, for people that are uh, have questions. We're not only getting that, we're sometimes getting calls from people who just want to have somebody to talk to. The last button, the transportation button, it's actually been changed to, and you'll see it when I show it, to called CC Go. It's a way to order a lift ride and uh, schedule rides through the grand pad itself. So I mentioned it earlier, uh, Consumer Cellular in 2018 got involved with the grand pad. And here are the, uh, the benefits of that happening. To help support and uh, uh, stay on top of and, and implementing the, the product to our customers is we are a top rated US based customer service. So the nice part about that is, and I, I don't know, is that when you contact our support and see the locations here, you're dealing with somebody in the United States. Hey, Pat, before you continue, we did have a question about features. Yes, Do you want please. to entertain it now or later? Uh, well, let's go for it right now. Please. Okay. So the, the question was, does the music include audiobooks? Great question. It does not include audiobooks. Um, what I can tell you is that um, you do have an internet feature on here as well that was not mentioned in those buttons. So if you do have... Uh, a link that you want to include that is an internet option, you can't access it that way. But as far as the music, no, it does not include audiobooks. That's a great question and a good suggestion as well. Anything else, Amy? That, that's it for now. Okay, thank you. So please continue. All right, so hey, Amy, how about we do this? If it's all right with you, why don't we uh, hold off on questions until sure. the end? And we then, can do that. Uh, that'd be great. Thank you. All right. So one of the other features to, to start where I left off here that has been a, a key to consumer cellular success. Consumer cellular has mainly been a cell service that has been 
primarily marketed through AARP. And one of the biggest benefits that is noted with Consumer Cellular is it is a no contract company. So for users of our services, they're not obligated or in a locked into a contract. And uh, we have done that because we've, we've uh, heard the frustrations of people dealing with that. We also do that because we feel our service and support uh, allows us to do that. And uh, that's the next thing we go into is we offer a 100% risk-free guarantee. What I do say by that is, is that there is a monthly fee with the GrandPad because it is a wireless service as well as a cell service, both. Um, we do offer a 100% risk-free guarantee. I mentioned it earlier, we're a partner with AARP. So we do offer an AARP discount to anybody that is actually uh, starting, decides to use consumer cellular service, whether it's with a cell, cellular, cellular phone, if I could say it, or the grand pad itself. And then lastly, uh, the benefit is we, we use AT&T and T-Mobile towers throughout the country, so it is a national coverage program. Cost, I'm sure this is something that's been thought of. So the grand pad itself, the cost is $250 for the unit, the tablet itself. And what comes with that is the grand pad, obviously. It comes with a, um, a carrying case or a case. Uh, it has a wire, wireless cradle uh, that you can see that it's in right now. And that's also the charging station. So the benefit of that is, is that once you put it in there, it automatically, as I mentioned earlier, kicks into a photo gallery slideshow, but it also charges the grand pad while it's not in use. And then the last thing is you can see it has a stylus in the front there that uh, you can either use your finger, which is typically what I do, but there is a stylus available as well. So what uh, Amy has mentioned is that this PowerPoint will, will be available to you Maybe uh, it might make sense to for yourself, or if it is something you decide to uh, to present while you're out in the community or in your uh, demonstration centers. Here's some promotional links that show some details on it, along with that initial video I showed of Carrie Bernight, a commercial on it, and some articles talking about the Grand Pad. One specifically I'll mention is the uh, article. Technology use among older adults. That's an interesting one uh, because what we found is uh, the numbers are skewed in the statistics because when people report on the details of their use with technology, unfortunately, the people that are reporting are the ones that use technology. That doesn't help because you're not getting the information that people that don't have access or are afraid of technology, uh, can't figure it out, have issues that it's not working for them. So the numbers are really unrealistic and sometimes uh, inaccurate. Here's my contact information. Uh, so if I've covered something, which I'm sure I have, I apologize for it ahead of time, and didn't cover it to the detail you'd like, you're welcome to give me a call or send me an email and I'd be happy to, to help out any way I can. All right, so Lastly, if there's any questions now, uh, if, uh, if I can go through questions now or I can do a, a demonstration on the product if that works. Uh, uh, do you have anything at this point, Amy? Yeah, sure. So there was a comment from our Texas program uh, that no contract postpaid is great, but there were questions about funding sources for folks who uh, would fall between the cracks in affording uh, the, the fees. Okay. Uh, it's a Anybody good- Anybody that? I, I have You're to welcome. Be, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I have to be uh, as transparent and candid as possible on this. This is essentially just rolled out primarily, primarily to this point the grand pad has been marketed through Target, Stars, Target stores and AARP. We do do some commercial marketing 
you'll see it sometimes on uh, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, uh, uh, late night TV quite often, and social media. So to your question, it really has not been addressed and uh, because we are still in our infancy and in marketing it to this the way we are right now. So it's something we were happy to look into, but at this point there has not been anything set up or implemented. Thanks. Any other questions? Is that it, Amy? That's it for the questions. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show the product. Now this is interesting because it's a unique uh, process because it is a product, it's not a software application. So I can't just show it uh, on a screen like this. I actually have to show you physically on the tablet I have. So uh, Amy and Dave, if you could tell me if this is uh, uh, understandable. Let's go with that, how about that? Let's see, so I'm gonna get out of this program. And what I do is I'm gonna bring the product right here. Instead of looking at my mug here, you're gonna have the grant pad. Does that work for you? Yeah. Is that, is that okay, very good. So this is actually here, uh, it. So uh, if you could bear with me, cause I'm doing it upside down. So uh, talking about challenged, I'm, I'm more than challenged on that. So the first thing you see is I'm using the stylus and they're large buttons. The intent is to make it as simple to see as possible. So the first button, the internet, you can add links into the system and these are controlled. These are not, it's not just a blind browser. The browser this is set up that you have links. If I can get out of it again, this is not working for me here. Uh, that you control which links you want into this uh, setup. I picked a couple to show, but the benefit of that is, is that you're not going into sites you shouldn't be in, as well as you're not downloading potential viruses or uh, files that could corrupt your system. Next button is the call button. I hit the call button, and the benefit of the call button is large pictures of the person uh, the group that are in your contacts i hope this makes this more understandable than the powerpoint i did uh so if i hit that the nice part is i can hit the the green call jenny or i can hit the button hit the picture and i have the ability to do a video call or a phone call not going to do that CC Go, I mentioned that the transportation button has been added to be CC Go. Uh, so that is how you could set up a lift ride. And the other thing I've done, just to show you how I would use it or how it has been used, is you could pre-store locations you typically would go to. So you don't have to add those in every time. new email to give you an idea the uh the grand pad has releases and updates on a weekly basis typically so one of the things that's being considered to continually discussed is to change this from new email to new messages because really in the email you're also getting text messages and voice messages as well so if I want to create a new email, I have the ability to send it to everybody in my contact list to send an email. I could type it or speak it. So the benefit of that obviously is you, have, you do not have to be a typer or have the ability to type. You can actually speak the message as well and send that off to anybody in your contact list. Again, I mentioned it several times and I mentioned it because it seems like it, and it is very important. These are the only people that will send you emails as well. So you're not getting random emails on this grand pad from solicitors. Photos. 
These are my two sons here. So the nice part about that is, is that they were in California. They went out and they sent this off to my father. But the other benefit is, is anybody that's in that contact, contact list, that circle of friends, they also get this photo on their phone and they can make comments and everybody can make comments on that photo and it's all shared within that circle of friends. The camera, I'll just show you, but really all that can, it shows you can do a video or, or a photo call. Uh, the articles, a plethora of articles, probably more than you'd ever want. And you could filter and slice and dice which ones you would feel that would be of value. Weather, I mentioned that earlier. I wish I was in Phoenix, I'm not. But uh, you can see it's 67 and sunny in Phoenix. West Lynn is where I'm at. That's right outside of Portland, Oregon. It's 47. It is sunny, but it's cold. So, the, uh, so that I could see anybody that's in the circle of friends, as well as the user, you see the weather where they're at. So you can find out uh, if you're gonna have touch base with them or make a phone call or have any kind of chat, you know what's going on with their place. Music, I mentioned this earlier, you can create your own music collection by searching music that's important to you, or if not, you have the ability, you have a playlist available to you to pull from. So if I let's say I wanna to listen to country, Dave and Amy, you can tell me if you can hear this. Yep, you're good. Yep. Okay. I hear you. Uh, one thing I use, because I do presentations at senior living communities. Now I'll get into that in a second. I'll, I'll mention when I get to that button. Uh, the, the games I mentioned, they're all in here. Very comp, uh, uh, inclusive list of games available, some for memory, tiles. In interesting enough, the tiles is a memory game, but you can also have your photos in there as well. I'm reading this upside down, so bear with me. All right, there we go. Look up, I mentioned, I'm not gonna get in that, the toolbox settings. This is what I wanted to show. So you can set up your Wi-Fi with this. You can set up, a, you can do a speed test of your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So what I do is I hook up a, a Bose Bluetooth speaker to this when I'm presenting at a, pres uh, at, a, at a community center with maybe 50 people or whatnot. So they're not listening to the speakers right here, they're listening to the Bluetooth sound coming out of the, the, uh, the Bose speaker. Then the last button is help. Uh, and going into that, as I mentioned earlier, that's where you can access our support. There's training videos on how to use this. And it's as simple as that to use this. I, uh, what we call it is 90 and 90. It's, it should take less than 90 seconds to set it up. And within 90 seconds, that end user should be comfortable using it. Now, I just realized just realized. I did not go through something I wanted to mention that we've done with some of the state agencies already. It did not, uh, it's not in there. So I, I'm gonna have to ver uh, this talk about it. So what we've done with some of the state agencies and actually to let you know how this all came about, is we were approached by one of the states who saw this in a presentation said, well, this would be perfect for us to show seniors. 
And what we're running into now is situations where it's fitting um, fitting other mild issues like mild autism, uh, mobility issues, other things that uh, disabilities that could come into play that the grand pad works for. As you can see by the name, it was initially created for seniors, but it is having some uh, success in other areas as well. So what I, what I wanted to mention, and I did create a slide for this, I apologize, it didn't end up in the presentation, is that we are now providing brochures on the grand pad, uh, a referral card that provides a $10 credit to initial implementation, implementation or uh, initial purchasers of the grand pad uh, with a referral ID number. And how we use that is that number is how we're tracking activity coming from in this case, the uh, assistive technology agencies. And then lastly, probably the biggest thing we're doing is that if we see state agencies and assistive state ag uh, technology agencies see the value, we're providing the demo units that you might see uh, like at a Target store to them, two of them typically, at no cost. Granted that there's, we're seeing activity from that. And um, uh, I am gonna provide uh, some detail to to help track that activity for both of us uh, or whoever uh, would be using it to make sure it's a value to those uh, who are interested. And what it is is that it isn't a live grand pad unit, uh, but what's, what has happened is it has been installed over, it has been a demo program and it has all essentially the same functionality as the grand pad, but it has some videos in there to show you how to use it. Uh, it does not have the ability to make phone calls, nor email, or nor access the internet. As you can see, as you can probably understand, we're not going to put that functionality at a Target store and a demo station because uh, of potential abuse. So, but what it does do is it gives a good feel for what the product does and uh, how it could benefit that certain end user in the long haul. So. Uh, what I'd be happy to do is, uh, you've got my contact information. Please reach out to me if you have interest in more detail. Uh, I'd be happy to send out brochure. As I mentioned, the demo units are at no cost. Uh, we have done typically two for some of the states we've dealt with. And we are uh, starting to track uh, to make sure it makes sense for all parties involved that uh, there is value in providing those. At that point, I want to thank you for your time and uh, see if there's any other questions, Amy. Yes, there are, Pat. I, I had so. a feeling once I start, uh, <laughs> I'm sure I didn't cover something well. What do we got? What? So uh, one question or comment is, will you be adding any features in the future, such as the ability of the grandpad to respond to voice commands? Uh, it's a great question because that's come up quite a bit and it is something that's being looked into. Um, so I, I, at that point, I, I would be remiss if I told you anything else, but it is something that has come up and it is being looked into. Okay, uh, great. Yeah, so Another one thing that I, I will tell Amy, let me, let me expand. Go, on. Go for we it. We get a lot of inquiries about adding features and functionality to the grand pad. One of the benefits that we have stuck with the grand pad is to keep it simple, safe, and secure. So part of the issue is, is when you start taking on new functionality and features, you take away from that. So not saying that adding voice activation is making it more difficult. I'm just uh, mentioning that a lot of uh, suggestions come up and we have to decide which ones are going to keep the integrity of the product. Understood. Uh, so another question that came in was, how would a, a individual who's blind or had low vision use it? Uh, and this may speak again to the idea of adding features, having a screen reader built in or built in, something that uh, minimally speaks the names of the buttons. Uh, 
it, it's something to take into consideration. So what I can tell you, and I mentioned it earlier, going by the name, GrandPad, it was really essentially developed to keep seniors who are dealing with isolation and loneliness, keep them engaged with either games or music or ideally with their family and friends. So that's the primary function of this. So I can tell you, while that's a great suggestion and it's something that I brought up and it's being looked at, it's not the primary focus at the, of the product right now. Yeah. Well, your development team might want to think about it, uh, particularly yeah. in terms of the incidence of macular degeneration in our senior population. So, uh, it's a good point and, I, and note taken and I will, <laughs> I will bring it up. Thank you very much. Here's another suggestion, and let me tell you, you can be prepared for more suggestions from those <laughs> that actually have experience once they get their hands on it. Sure. So uh, this comment from Wisconsin is, have you considered a Wi-Fi only option? Uh, we have not. Um, Partly because if, uh, putting it blankly, we're a cellular company. So I, right. I, that, that is our right. business. Uh, and what we've run into is there are certain situations that cell coverage works where there's no Wi-Fi and vice versa. So the intent is to communicate uh, through cell phones and whatnot. So it is a cell service. So what I can tell you is... Uh, my a personal situation, my parents have, or my father has, this has taken the place of his cell phone. Granted, he is bedridden in a uh, assisted living community, so he's not out in the, uh, in the public, so he doesn't really need a cell phone, but this is all he needs. When he is actually needs to communicate with somebody, they're in his contact list, or it's somebody at the assisted living community. So, uh, that, that is something that it, uh, it is being used as a cell service. Uh, but uh, uh, that is not something we thought of and that is not the intent. Wi-Fi was added, or uh, the intent is to have both functionality right now. Yeah. So Pat, I don't remember exactly whether we, yeah, I think we did actually discuss the fact that many states have telecommunication device distribution programs. Yes. So, and I think I actually introduced you to TEDPA. Uh, you did. I'm actually, uh, I, I don't know if you want me to go into that. I am actually uh, registered with the uh, Temple University, and we are uh, uh, in the process of doing a bit of pro uh, proposal to them on this. Okay, great. So, so in that case, if you get on the list of equipment, uh, that might be a funder for the unit, although the consumer would still probably have to pay the monthly fee. Uh, that is my understanding. Yeah, yeah. So what are the nuts and bolts for a program to obtain a demo unit? I think the first thing what I would suggest for all parties involved, including uh, myself and Consumer Cellular, is welcome to, to touch base with me, but I, I suggest going to a Target store and going and taking a look at what they have, because essentially that's what I'm talking about providing to the, the agencies. And, and if they're happy with that and want it? They, they contact me and I, okay. uh, it's not, I mean, I, and, and, and I, I being, candid and transparent. It's not like these units are just sitting here waiting to be sent out. Uh, I have to go through and have them uh, a new program uh, installed and overlaid over them uh, for the, to the agency. So while it doesn't take that long, it is a process and it's something we track on our end. And that's why uh, there is some activity tracking as well to make sure it's a value to all parties involved. Okay, so it sounds like the first thing people should do is go to the um, Target store. I would say I think that's a I think that's a good um, start to make sure you you like what you see. You could see that would work. 
So the, the, the uh, agencies that we've worked with so far that have seen success and value with it, they typically, we set up two, uh, two units for them. One for their uh, demo, center, demo, demo center inside their agency, if that's what you have. And then they have one, which I believe they call like a, you call a toolkit. So when they go out and do demonstrations in the field, they bring this uh, to show. And quite often, obviously, they make sure it's for the right audience. I mean, uh, as mentioned, there might be situations where the grand pad is, and I, I won't say might, there are situations where the grand pad is not the right fit. Uh, but when you feel it is something that should come into play and, and there is value, then that's what uh, the, uh, the reason to have the demo unit and bring it out in the field. And we do have a, a review from Illinois they said Illinois has them in our demo center and toolkit and it is very well received. Thank you, Illinois. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the feedback. It's, you know what, I, how I would position this, it's like anything else. If it's, if you see the value and you use it to what it can do and you provide the, the value that, it, that it, it can offer, then it's a, it's a, a winning value added uh, asset. If, uh, if it's not done, used that way, then it's gonna be like anything else. Uh, one of the biggest challenges with the grand pad we have right now, getting offline a little bit, and um, objections is an iPad. Because so many people have bought iPads thinking that this is a way that we're gonna connect with the, uh, their loved one. Mm -hmm. And when end up, what end up, ends up happening is it becomes a for lack of a better way of putting it, a paperweight, because the people are challenged. They, they, are, they're, uh, they need to be explained several times how to use it. They can't figure out how to use it. So when somebody sees a grand pad, the first thing that comes into mind quite often is, I already bought an iPad and tablet. I don't need another thing like that. Well, in our eyes, and hopefully in yours, this is essentially, uh, the opposite of a grand pad. It's made to be used and keep it simple. So that would probably be one of the key points of discussion in a demonstration that you'd be comparing uh, an iPad with the grand pad. I think you're going to get that quite a bit. And, and one, of the, one of the other things that will come up is, uh, and it, I've never been a person to talk about cost, but an iPad is very expensive. And uh, we're not looking at something that, that's, that's that expensive. The issue is obviously the monthly. When you buy an iPad, you purchase it and you're done. Um, but the challenge with that is you purchase something and if it's not used, then it's a sunk cost. Right. All right, are there any other questions? Okay, Pat, there All are- All right, Amy. No more questions at this time. Uh, so if you would like to have the last word. No, I just, uh, please, you've got my contact information. Amy, uh, for my knowledge too, how do people get access to the, to the presentation? So the recording will be archived on the AT3 website. If you follow the links to the demonstration and loan COP, community of practice, but um, give us a, a little bit of a chance to load it up and uh, I will let you know when it's on there. Very good. And then probably the easiest way to reach me is that email address that I've provided here. And it'll be in that, uh, what Amy's talking about and just reach out to me and I, uh, I'll be happy to respond and we can go from there. But I, first things first, what I would suggest is, uh, we know they're everywhere, is go, go up to a Target store and look at it and see if that's something that you like what you see. It's what I presented today. Uh, and if it's something you feel would be good to have in your, uh, uh, your tool, tool chest, then uh, please reach out and we'd be happy to work with you. Great, well, thanks so much. Folks, when you're going out looking for hand sanitizer at Target, maybe you can stop and take a look. Uh, but of course, be safe 
out there. Be healthy and wash your hands. And thanks again, Pat. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye all. Thanks for joining.